Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So at the end of the previous episode, we discovered this Renegade Bastion that we're gonna attack today. It should be our first Hedge Knight kill, so I hope we get some nice upgrades. And then, well, we are still trying to get some recruits to go to campus. They also need to sell all the loot at this point. And then north, Waldmark, probably all the way to get Borg and back south again. South again. Mm, I think I made some changes. Well, some changes. There is just one uh, change that I can make. Switched uh, Tostig for, well, one of these two. I think Hardbert. Uh, and um, yeah, there is nothing to do before the attack, so let's go for it. Is this... it is on a hill, so this terrain could be quite annoying. Might be one of those fights where for two turns we'll just keep retreating. And force the AI to chase us, something like this. Although... I may have to move this way so that they can't hit us from here. Two, three, four. I'm not even sure that I can make it into positions in two turns. Well, at least we have only, only 12 people. It's not legends with 27 people on the field. So the retreat here isn't that annoying. As long as we don't get shot to pieces before we can run away. Oh, it seems that we are fine. How are they gonna get down? Oh, they can go down here and here, okay. Okay, so we want to have Lothar here. No, wait, we, we can't make it into that grass, which means he's gonna be here. That means, yeah, I'll need one more turn. And I'll try to remember that Albrecht has a whip. Because you may need it against the Hedge Knight. And it's probably going to be the first time that we're going to use the whip. So I have to remember that we have the option. even move further north because from here I'll still get, give them the option to shoot at least from these two tiles these two are probably gonna be blocked by the tree it's still annoying though wait 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 Let's 
See if they're gonna chase us around. I don't hear their movement. Now they are moving. Okay. I need one more tile. Damn, this is going to be a mess. Two, three, four, five. Definitely want to go this way. I could just ah. I'm not used to this positioning, so I just don't see how far I can move as clearly as I'd like to. Okay, that's fine. Two, three, four, five. So I can hide the Volmar here. Wait. Can we reach? No. Oh, that's interesting that Archer moved back. And I can't reach anything. I need to move Hadebrand back. That should force them to come to me. Hopefully, this is going to force the archers to get in range. At least the marksman that I can't hit is the one with the short bow. I think there's only one with the short bow. Nope. Nope. I hope this is not the only one that's gonna be in the range. Come on, crossbowman, move. Um,
Okay, it seems that we might actually be getting somewhere. Because that's definitely a target. You know what, let's just go for the aim shot. Yeah. If he had a helmet, I'd probably move forward and then attack, but there was a chance for the one shot. I think it was worth it. Wait. Need more room for the bowman. That's so much damage. He got hit to the ear. It did what? 40 damage. Too light. How many are alive? Thirteen. That's one, two, three, four. I hope this is the last one. Oh, some decent shooting. Wait. Good. Oh, this is a great target. There's the hatch light. I hope I'll be able to hold him back with the spear wall. But he can't go around me. If he gets behind, then he might be in trouble. And I really don't want to hit the armor. So what if I 
I don't have enough action points. Damn it. One, two, three. Definitely a spear wall. Wait. Okay, hit the head, please. No, nope. that was still pretty decent damage. And now we probably want to start locking them in place. There shouldn't be any archers left. Can I do it though? I can move here, that's not good enough. No, I can't get to this style. Wait, I can move here, attack, then with the spear wall, I think I want to have the spears in the front line for a while. Can't afford for well if i want to damn it i lock this guy down and with the support of the archers i'm gonna kill him hopefully so i want albrecht here and i want him to switch to the whip now wait oh there's another one Could try to send girl around. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna block these two. Okay, that worked. I was hoping this one would panic. Now, I need to block this one. Um, it will take me too long getting through the shield, so I'm just gonna ignore it, I think. Ah, uh, that was an important attack. Good, perfect. If I move here, just asking for trouble. Ah! 
76. Please don't screw it up. Good. That's not bad. I was hoping the pikeman would panic. Come on, let's. Oh, never mind. I want to say let's get the kill. Um, let's try again. That's 95, I think. Still wasn't enough. I might even have a... Oh, it's only 40% still. What if I stab here? Attack the shield. And then I could try a knockback. Ah, it still wasn't enough. Ugh. Should I be greedy? What's the chance? 26. Um, 48. Yes. Unfortunately, the Hedge Knight is now faster. I won't be able to disarm him in time. <laughs> If I kill this guy, there is a small chance that he just panics. Nope. No, please don't hit me. Hmm. It wasn't that bad though. We will just pay for the healing. This is like a cut sinew or something like that. <clears throat> On. That's better. Yeah, now we should be able to keep him under control. Kill. Oh, that's surprising. Wait. That's why it would be so easy if you didn't start it right under the hill. Thank you. And they all panicked? Excellent. So we now have to make sure that everybody switches to daggers in time. Ah, too risky.
It's important that we get rid of the two-handed sword. That would do way too much damage to the armor. Yeah, this is fine. Do we have enough people? We do. Perfect. That was almost half an hour. It was at least worth it. One, two, three level ups. I don't have to worry about this injury. But this one. 40% damage inflicted is definitely a problem. Four to six days to heal it up. Yeah, this is probably gonna cost, uh, cost us like 400, maybe 500 gold to heal in the temple. And. I see the sword, I don't see the armor. Uh, ah, there it is, we got the, the complete set. And it's basically undamaged, nice. How much room do we have? 10 slots. We all take the salt, money, tools and supplies, ammo, silverware. Then, sword, armor and helmet. And uh, let me check, is there anything that we could maybe throw away? Oh, the shields are actually worth something. I have to throw away a few more things. Okay. Definitely. All three swords, the flails, this axe is worth something, and five more items. Oh, sure, let's take the bow. Okay. And heart's definitely gonna need some time in the reserve. Or no, actually not Erhard. Gerald. And he gets the new Armor, 74 fatigue still. Yeah, that's fine.
I guess we're just gonna keep the helmet in the reserve. And this, hopefully, is enough to fulfill the contract. The helmet is 280 and the armor is 300. Actually quite tempted to take hit points. I think I will. Because that's a maximum roll. And again, some of the random arrows. You probably want to have more than 50. Let's take that range defense to 50. And what's the last one? That's level 11 for Albrecht. Well, we do have two perk points. Let's check this first. One, two, three. That's pretty easy. But what are the last two perks going to be? I guess rotation is one option. It could be like the classic rotation or recovery. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to take. Um, extra damage with Executioner. Uh, we're going to be using that uh, Legendary Cleaver. I don't think uh, Executioner is necessary. A Headhunter, it's more like for flails or uh, weapons uh, that have extra chance to hit head. Yeah, let's take rotation for the extra safety and we have 81 fatigue but in the end i think i want heavier armor than this so we're gonna need or we may need recover this is what 25 17 compared to 38 19. we're gonna be around 70 points with the heavy armor. Yeah, for the long fights, I think I will take recover. I hope I didn't miss something important. I think we're just gonna sell that sword that we got. Because at this point, what do we want? We have... We have a cleaver, we have sword. Cleaver, sword, hammer. Then we probably want a mace, second hammer, and axe. Mace, second hammer, axe. So that's one, two, three, six. Probably still want someone with the with the three-headed flail. I want two spearmen. But not these two. I'm gonna replace them at some point. But I still want to have like real tanky spearmen for certain fights. And then 
maybe two people with long weapons. I think I like the uh, the pole maze for the for the range crowd control. That might actually be getting two, four, six, eight, nine. That might be getting to the limit. Okay, so we don't need the second sorted, I think. How much are you guys paying? 429 and 261 for rings. I think that's acceptable. If I wait, I'd probably get more in one of the northern cities, but I don't want to run around with the full inventory. I think if I should keep the most uh, expensive items. We don't need the money right now, so maybe I'll keep them. Oh, and I forget, I also want more people who can use, who can use whips. Probably want to have two. So we are definitely getting to the limit of what we can uh, have. Oh, there was garbage shield. We can sell one of these as well. Okay, we have another what? Another like three, four thousand in the inventory. We sell everything. Good. <clears throat> Still looking for the falcon, but no falcons to be seen anywhere. I don't think this is worth it. I will probably pay for the training once we find some frontliners we definitely need to speed their training up but the archer will get the experience eventually rondel daggers can probably wait oh what is this 6200 148 for minus one it's almost 60, 60 extra points. The fatigue is identical and the vision for this build doesn't matter. Just that's uh, the helmet is not for arches with this minus one vision. Is it worth it though? Probably not. We'll eventually get a helmet like this. I mean, it's pretty good. 148 minus 4, it's an insane ratio. 
but this is for builds that are not the core of the company or will ever be a core of the company. So eventually we'll probably try to get one or two helmets like this, but it's going to be like the last few items. <clears throat> so I think I'll pass. Okay, fingers crossed. Uh, by the way, I checked Squires again. I'm not sure that they are worth. They might be actually worth it for the spearmen that I want. You don't need spearmen to be like cell swords. That feels a bit like a waste. So I probably will keep checking them. And for 193, we should get everything about them. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Don't really care about Parani, but I do care about Superstitious. Yeah, that's a huge problem for someone who's supposed to be on the flank. Nope. But I would take him without Superstitious. And... Sure, what else would it be? Range skill, initiative, stamina... So I think that's all. Let's see, which way do we want to go north? We could go like here and north. I still want to have a chance to find something along the way. Well, that's not what I wanted, but I guess I will attack. I can do this off camera. Maybe now what we can do is just have a look around. Yeah, let's make a cut here. I'm gonna kill the zombies in between episodes, and then I will try to uh, follow these tracks and uh, see where they where they where they came from. There might be another brigand camp somewhere around here. Okay, fine, but. Uh, uh, we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.